Welcome back everybody, thank you for watching another video and welcome to part 4 of a 5 part series about my journey into Napa Valley. Now if you didn't have a chance to check out the rest of the videos, I'll leave links right up here. But today, it's all about stags with an apostrophe S, leap sellers. Alright guys, here we go, We're talking about the Stags Leap Cellars located in the Stags Leap District. You can see there it's kind of centrally located, maybe more on the bottom, on the east side of Napa Valley. Now let me untangle that because there are two wineries named Stags Leap in the Stags Leap District. We want the one, if you're going to remember anything about this video, with the apostrophe S because those are the guys that won the 1976 Judgment of Paris Cabernet Sauvignon category. Here's a look at the greeter. Of course, this guy's gonna be happy, surrounded by such great wine. Here is a look at the Faye Outlook and Visitor Center. This is the Faye Vineyard, named after Nathan Faye, the gentleman that they purchased this vineyard from. Very close to this, right across the parking lot area, is the SOV Vineyard. This is the vineyard that produces that great Cabernet Sauvignon. Not that the other one isn't great, it's just that this vineyard is more volcanic rock based and over on the other vineyard, it's more clay based. So you get that better taste in, I guess, expert opinions from the SLV Vineyard. Beautiful visitor center, a lot of natural rock blended with wood. And in that little box right there, that's the winner. 1973 Cabernet Sauvignon, Stag's Leap. That's the big boy right there. Now you can choose from a lot of different experiences at the winery. I went on the cave tour. They have a food pairing tour as well. But look at this, this is called the Great Room and just the way that this is lit with those hammered brass sconces and the glimmering, I mean glimmering quartz floors. It feels like you're in a Harry Potter movie or something like that, it's amazing. And then once you get into the caves, guys and girls, it's just miles and miles of barrels of wine and you better watch out for the bears <laughs> when you get out there. But just stunning, the aroma of the barrels that it gives off is absolutely, oh, this is a, a Foucault pendulum. Basically, it's, uh, there's only like 50 of these in the world, and it just basically demonstrates the rotation of the Earth. So once you get it started, it looks like it's rotating, but it's actually the Earth's rotation that's making it look that way. But if you're going into Napa Valley, I highly recommend going to Stag's Leap with the apostrophe S. The Cabernet Sauvignons are gonna love, and the Chardonnays are actually really good too and that's located in the Stagsdeep district, I would go check them out. It's worth the tour.